All right, so there's been a lot of uh, excitement around this antenna deployment system. I'm going to do some upgrades to it. And I thought while I'm doing the upgrades, I just build another one from scratch. Give you guys a parts list, some rationale behind the success of this thing. A few of us in town here in Colorado that have it, uh, we affectionately call it the Shelton design. It's very simple. It's a fishing reel, some plumbing parts, a daisy wrist rocket, uh, together with uh, a weight, of course, and the take-up reel for the actual cordage that holds the wire antenna up in the trees. This uh, cordage is absolutely perfect. It works flawlessly. Uh, it's called, I get it from the Army Surplus Store, uh, The it, it's called the Handy 100. It's a very tight waxed braid, a very high tensile strength, a handy hundred. Uh, if you don't have it at Army Surplus or whatever at your location, you can find it online. Uh, it's a place out of uh, Massachusetts, I think. Um, handy hundred. This is ideal. You don't want to use mason line or paracord or any kind of loose braided stuff. This is the stuff you want to use. The upgrade is in the reel, the take-up reel. This is a take-up reel for Mason line. I got it at Home Depot. It's just, it's flimsy. The crank is short, so it takes forever to roll it in. You get fatigued doing it. Uh, so there's room for improvement there. I'll show you the upgrade here in a little while. The other upgrade is this weight here. This is actually the ideal weight that I found. Uh, it's a bass caster uh, made by Eagle Claw. It's a smooth design. It's just a barrel weight with a swivel on top. You don't want to get all complicated and use uh, snap swivels and barrels and whatever. It just gets hung up in the canopy, especially in the pine trees. Um, pine trees are like Velcro. Uh, anything will get hung up in the pine cones and bark and stuff, but this is ideal. Slips right down through the tree. So the idea is to launch it over the top of the tree, and this comes down through the canopy to the other side. And when it gets to the other side, you attach your heavy cordage and reel it back over. And then attach your wire antenna to the heavy cordage and pull it back over the other side and make it taut. The other upgrade is uh, to the Shelton uh, device here. We're going to shorten this riser, okay, so that the reel is closer to my fist. So we're going to make a four inch riser, keep the cap and the T and the slingshot the way it is, just shorten it up. I'm going to increase the size of the reel so I bought a bigger reel because uh, you know when I hung my dipole up on uh, field day it was 70 feet up in the air I needed 100, 150 plus feet of line to get up and over to the other side uh, this one only held about 100 plus so it came up a little short and to get uh, innovative so I've got a bigger reel. This actually worked perfectly. If you've got trees that are less than 100 feet long, 100 feet tall, this is the Shakespeare Synergy. And part of the success behind this uh, system is the simplicity of it. you got the closed bale, a single lever crank. Uh, a lot of reels come with uh, two levers and a, a drag thing here. You want to avoid that. Like I said, simple is the success behind it. Okay, so it's less stuff for the line to get caught up when you launch it. Hence the reason why I want to bring it closer to my fist. So uh, let's build one from scratch. And uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff, but. Uh... 
So this is a, a device that I'm putting together to hang the sinkers on. I'm going to paint them uh, fluorescent orange and um, uh, create uh, kind of a makeshift spray booth. So as soon as I get this fashioned, uh, I'll share with you another secret weapon that I've got up my sleeve. And, uh, we'll get the paint on these sinkers. So we're just washing these weights off with some acetone to get the manufacturer's oil off of it. Uh, just to get a better coating of paint, uh, better adhesion. Again, these are the Eagle Claw Bass Casters. Uh, these weights work. If you can find them, pick them up. So here's our makeshift spray booth. We're just hanging these weights here so that we can uh, get a coat of paint on them. Uh, it's just a cardboard box with that wire thing you see me making before. I'm gonna hang six weights on here and give them a spray. I just want to mask off the brass swivels here. Just an attention to detail so they don't get all gunked up with paint. Uh, I'll just keep them nice and clean. I came inside because it's a gajillion degrees outside. Uh, I got three coats, three coats of that fluorescent orange on the weights out there. They're brilliantly bright. No problem seeing this through the trees, the canopy of the pines. Uh, I'm about ready to take it one step further with this product right here. Glows, Krylon glow in the dark. I'm going to put a couple of coats of this over the orange. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to deploy antennas in the dark. I don't know. It can't hurt. I'm going to give it a try. We'll see what happens. We gave it a shot. We put this over the top of the orange. Uh, the fluorescent orange was brilliantly fluorescent out of the can but once I put this over the top it kind of put this kind of a tint over the orange and dulled it down quite a bit uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save these weights for nighttime deployment and uh, just spray another half a dozen uh, weights with just the orange because I really liked how bright the orange was but this uh, this will be cool it's uh, who knows maybe I'll need it for the nighttime or something and uh, you can still see it. It's it's still orange. It's just dulled down. So um, there you go. Uh, you never know until you try, right? All right. Let's get this thing out of the box. Uh, this is the Daisy Paraline B52. It's the cheapest one you can get. I got no use for the. Uh, okay, here it is. The Paraline B52. Uh, take pride. It's a daisy. Goodness sakes. Get one. Alright. I got no use for this uh, wrist guard or support or whatever it is. It just gets in the way when I'm packing it uh, in the bag. So I'm going to take it off. It's uh, three Phillips screws on the handle. And we'll get that off. And I almost got it. Here's the third screw here. We'll get the back of the handle off and then take the wrist support off, discard it, and uh, put the handle back on. And that'll complete the destruction of the wrist rocket.
Well, all right. That's that. The handle's back on. Now it's time to get the reel and uh, do kind of a mock-up. Here's the clip. Clips onto the handle perfectly. Snaps right on there. Here's the shorter barrel length. Let's get the reel on there. Okay. This is the Zebco 808. It comes pre-spooled with 20 gauge or 20 pound test. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep that 20 pound test on there or run my, uh, my mono. I got 15 pound mono that I use. So after I get this kind of mocked up, I'm going to use some Gorilla Tape and really secure it down tight. Okay, there's the two different colors. The fluorescent orange is extremely bright. I'm very happy with it. And the glow in the dark ones, yeah. Well, if they glow in the dark, that'd be cool too. So here's the finished product. I'm calling this the Shelton 3.0 Magnum. And uh, this, these are the upgraded reels I was talking about. You got a hundred and fifty feet of that um, candy hundred on each one of those. Those are kite reels. We'll see how good they work. I got a feeling they're gonna do just fine. So that's the finished product, the Shelton 3.0 Magnum.